Hey guys, Kevin Baxter back again at Pro Twin Performance. I wanted to do a, a quick uh, little, we could call it a tech video here, about two or three minutes, uh, and let you guys know about a service that we do anytime that we build an engine. Uh, and it actually brings up an interesting topic. I'm going to read on something here as well. Anytime we build an engine for somebody, we always ask that they come back to us at 500 miles and also, uh, if they're not, you know, if they can get back to us at 5,000 miles also uh, for us to do the oil change. We do that for the obvious reasons, you know, the 500 miles is going to get all of your assembly lubes and any particulate, anything like that, uh, potentially. Uh, that, that could have gotten in there during the machining process would actually, you know, get the oil change, get a new filter on it, that sort of thing. There's another reason why we do it. Uh, anytime we do an oil change at that 500 and 5,000 mile interval, we always send that oil out to get an analysis done on it. That analysis tells us a lot of different things. It's looking for particular types of metal content, different chemicals and things like that. Now that can be a great indication of a potential issue uh, that you can correct well before it becomes a catastrophic issue. So we always like to do that oil analysis um, in, anytime we build an engine. So we had a customer uh, uh, not too long ago. We did one of our 117 M8 complete packages for him. Now I finally met someone that is, um, I don't want to say anal retentive, let's say persnickety. Someone that is just as persnickety as I am and uh, he decided to get an unbiased result from his oil analysis and use his own service. I'm very glad that he did that. Um, the results will point out a lot of things, but first, and I am uh, in the comments below after the video rolls, uh, if you'll hang for a few minutes, I'll scan in and provide a copy of this report so you guys can see it uh, in the comment section down here. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do, uh, all of these quick videos, um, I also put them up on YouTube. Uh, so if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's great. There are hundreds of videos on there with all kinds of tech stuff. Everything about tuning and engine oils and uh, engine building stuff, all kind of stuff that's in there. Exhaust systems and that sort of thing. So be sure to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe there. Uh, anyway, that being said, um, uh, in that video uh, that I put on YouTube, I'm also going to put a link to a couple of other videos I did that talks about engine oils. Uh, it's about 30 minutes long, 30, 45 minutes long, but it explains viscosities, uh, multi-grade, uh, and all that type of stuff. So it'd be a good thing to check out. So what will probably happen either on this side of the screen or this side of the screen, you'll see the links to those videos uh, that you can click on there on YouTube. But anyway, back to the report. Um, this customer, Larry, Again, with his uh, um, M8 Harley Davidson that we did the 117 package on, uh, sent his oil out to Blackstone Laboratories uh, out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, and again, he did this on his own, utilizing his own service. So this is an unbiased uh, result, if you will. So let me read the notes. Larry, this engine looks great at almost 10,000 miles after the build. The universal averages, this is important, the universal averages for the stock M8 engine are based on about 2,500 mile oil change interval. You went longer on this fill and far less metal than average showed up in the used oil. So all looks well from a mechanical standpoint. There's no contamination that needs to be taken care of either as no harmful amounts of coolant, fuel, or moisture were detected. The viscosity also fell in the 20W50 range. So far, so good for this Harley, so keep up the good work. So, um, and of course, on this report, you'll see all the different types of metals and things that they test for and what those values are. So, let me explain what why these notes are so important and what this is really telling us uh, and the value of these reports and why we do it. Um, first off, they start with a baseline number they test factory M8s, okay? And they test at a 2,500 mile oil change interval over a period of time to get their averages, to get their minimums. After doing this build and him running a longer oil change interval, he still had far less metal than the average that showed up on a stock M8. 
which I have to say I'm very proud of. It speaks to the pre precision that we do our machine work and the quality materials that we use. So uh, there's less metal in the oil, there's less wear in the engine, and uh, that's fantastic. The other thing, it actually speaks volumes for the quality of the oil that we use. This is not a brand plug, but the fact of the matter is we use AMSOIL 20W50 in the vast majority of the engines that we built. So using that particular product, even though he went beyond his oil change interval, and, and then it, it speaks to the quality of the fluid as well. So if there's less metal, there's less wear. It makes sense. The other thing that's interesting, if you notice that the viscosity, where I mentioned that, the viscosity fell in the 2050 range. That tells us uh, a couple of different things in addition to the fact that there was no excessive fuel in the system. That's telling us that the engine is tuned properly. Okay, if you're running slightly too rich, that rich, rich fuel mixture can contaminate the oil. Okay, so what we're getting is a clean burn. We're not contaminating the oil. We're not reducing the life of the engine. And the oil is doing its part by maintaining its viscosity at 20W50. So all in all, it's a home run and it's knocked out of the park. So I wanted to say thanks to Larry for taking the initiative uh, and caring enough about his engine that we, we put our heart and soul into uh, to, um, to have this test done independently. Uh, and we're pretty proud of the results as a matter of fact. So um, anyway, guys, so if, uh, again, be sure to check out the comments here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna post this report. And uh, then again, anytime we build an engine for somebody, you come back and see us at 500 miles, see us again at 5,000 miles, and we're gonna have these tests sent off, or excuse me, have the oil sent off for analysis to have the same type of report. If anything ever came back uh, that looked odd, if there were certain, you know, certain percentages of metal content somewhere that looked odd or unusual to us from what we've seen over, you know, a decade uh, of doing that, then we, of course, would, would remedy that problem right away before it became a big known issue. So, again, that's enough. Be sure, again, check out the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to put a link here to a 30-minute video that's all about oils. So um, you should see that, again, pop up on YouTube if you want to search for it. It's all about engine oils, but there'll be a link here. So, guys, again, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate you watching. Hope you have a great day, great holiday season, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate. Enjoy your new year. Take care, guys. Have a good one.